appearance is something that everybody should be taking care of the appearance is one of the number one things you should be taking care of especially if you want to thrive in this world i know we live in a superficial world but your appearance is also you you are your appearance your appearance is you if you look good you will feel good that is a fact just text i know it's a toss oh but i hate the fact that we lost such a I am a and this is a dive of me where you can come and learn everything to do with self-care, self-love, femininity, self-development, health and wellness. And don't forget to share this video with your friend, your sister, your mum, your auntie, your grandmother, your everybody, every woman that you know because it's all about women loving themselves and being the best version of themselves through self-care, self-love, femininity, self-development, health and wellness. I've mentioned in past videos that appearance is key. You should always try and keep your appearance looking nice, tidy and clean. It's all about keeping up appearances and when someone meets you, your appearance is the first thing that they see. People will analyse you based on your appearance. People will judge you based on your appearance and I'm not saying that you should dress for others or you should do things for others if you want to be taken seriously in this superficial world then your appearance is something that you should be looking after first impressions definitely count if you are a business person a businesswoman then somebody coming to see you about business is going to look at your appearance if you're somebody that works in a restaurant and you look dirty people will not want to eat food from you if you are a nail tech or if you're an eyebrow tech and you look filthy and you're gonna you're gonna be leaning over somebody doing their nails or something people are not gonna feel comfortable with you working on them it's just the facts it's facts i know for a fact that i know if i went into a place a restaurant where somebody looks filthy their clothes are dirty i know it's a restaurant but if their clothes are dirty their fingernails are full of dirt their hair's a mess their skin just looks a mess their teeth are dirty i'm gonna think how no am i eating off this person how to the mother effing no <laughs> i'm telling you i'm not gonna want to eat off them because i'm thinking if you can look like that what does your kitchen look like what does your kitchen look like so appearance matters it does really matter you know i think i'm a bit superficial but then i think it's just normal why would you want to not look good it's just like going into a hotel a restaurant you look at your surroundings you want your surroundings to look nice if you're going to spend your money in a place you want to feel comfortable in them surroundings it's the same as your appearance if you want people to take you seriously or you want someone to buy buy a product from you or you want somebody to invest in you you've got to ensure that your appearance looks clean and tidy it's just one of those things it's the world that we live in it's a thing where you gotta just like it or lump it and the thing is, even children know when somebody looks clean and tidy or somebody looks good. I've been approached by children many a times, like I've been in an airport and a little girl's not be going, you look so pretty, you look so nice. And that's a child and if you want to know the truth, ask a child, a child will definitely tell you the truth. Some people are better at looking good than others or better than keeping their up with their appearance than others. Like I noticed that especially when you go to, when I'm living in Ghana, like women keep up their appearances like like most when you go to a nail shop you know the nail shops are full of people like to have your nails done your feet done your hair done is a big thing even in america even like here in in the uk you get women who will take pride in their appearance and not everybody is as good as keeping up appearances than as others some people you know are not into the fashion into the hair into the nails but it's not always about having to get your nails done. It's just about looking neat and tidy. You can have clean, neat nails without getting them done. You can have clean, neat looking hair without going to the hairdressers. So it's not always about having to go out there and spend money to look good. But it's just about ensuring that when you leave the house, you look neat and tidy. And like I said, it's not about, you know, doing it for others. It's about doing it for yourself. Like I've mentioned before, you can go out there and you, know, you could see somebody that you didn't know you were going to see and you need to speak to them about a business proposition and if you look unkept then people won't take you seriously people won't want to give you that chance and it's 
like I said before, it's superficial, but we are visual beings. We like things to look good. If you're out on the street and even if you see, you can see the man of your dream and want to say hello to him, but you can't because you don't look well kept. And like I said, you can, I'm not saying you have to have a face full of makeup to do that or to approach somebody. I'm not saying that you have to do that, but it's just about having a moisturised face, moisturised skin, your hair tied back neatly. A, it could be a plain white t-shirt, but whilst it's clean and it's iron, then that's fine. But it's not always about being glamorous or always having to keep up with the Joneses. It's just about having a clean appearance. So in today's video, I'm just going to go over a few tips on how to keep your appearance looking neat and tidy and how just to feel good because when you look good, you feel good. It's a fact. Like, even me, sometimes I'm, I've been at my mum's house for the last couple of days, well, for the last couple of weeks, I say, and when I'm here, I don't really go out. So it's most days, I'm not even getting dressed up. And when I'm not dressed up, I'm just in my in my dressing gown, got my headscarf on. Like, you just feel like, oh, you know, oh, that's how you feel. That's how I feel anyway. But once I'm dressed up and I'm ready to go, I feel good. I feel so much better. And, like, when I get my nails done, I, like, I feel like a million dollars. <laughs> I swear. So these little things subconsciously it does kind of add to our mood and how we feel about ourselves as well. So as I was saying, here are the tips on how to keep your appearance looking neat and tidy. And it's not it's not much, let me tell you. It's not much. So firstly, have a skin routine. Keeping your skin looking good, clear, spot free is it's a flex. It is a flex. Everybody likes nice skin and when people see you, the first thing they see is your face, they see your skin. So, I'm not saying you have to have this, you know, extravagant skin routine with products that cost £100 each. It could just be something that, you know, as simple as face wash, a face, face scrub and a moisturiser. Just make sure you do this on a daily basis. You cleanse your skin in the morning, then moisturise it and then on the night time cleanse it and moisturise it and maybe once a week use a face scrub an exfoliator on your on your face and then just keep doing that and just you know if it works it works and if you, the products don't work then find a new set of products but just try and keep up with a skin routine just to ensure that your skin looks clean clear and free of congestion because like i said people look in your face every single day your skin and your face is the first thing that people see so have a skin routine the next thing I'd say in regards to having a nice clean appearance is your teeth. Teeth is a massive thing like when you even when you're like sorting out a partner that you want to be with I'm, I'm sure their mouth is the first thing you look at like no one likes a dirty mouth no one likes a smelly mouth no one likes horrible teeth and I know that there are instances where people have you know you may have had, had an accident or something and your teeth are not in the best condition but whilst you're brushing your teeth day and night then that's fine just ensure that you, your teeth are clean your breath is fresh so you're using breath fresheners chewing gum you're using floss on a daily basis mouthwash and brushing that's it really and if you are a person who can afford to get their teeth straightened and stuff like that then go ahead and do i'd love to get my teeth straightened i would and maybe i would do it one day but i'm not saying that you have to go through you know do the do the most to have nice teeth but just make sure that you go for your checkups at the dentist make sure you brush your teeth daily well twice a day if possible and just make sure that you you keep your breath smelling fresh because if you're going to be speaking to people having business meetings and stuff like that and you're going to be close to people you want to make sure your breath is fresh because like i said first impressions count <laughs> i'm telling you first impressions count just make sure you have good oral hygiene the next tip I'd say is make sure your hair is neat and tidy and washed. So, hair is a thing that, you know, people perceive of beauty in women and in both men, you know. So, having clean, tidy hair is a thing and is a must. You know, hair can smell, sometimes you can be cooking food and you have smelly hair. So, make sure if you're going out, if you're going out on a business meeting, if you're going to meet people, that your hair is neat and tidy or even if you just go into the shops just having it tied back in a neat bun in a neat ponytail that's fine just ensure that your hair 
it's clean it's trimmed it looks healthy your hair plays a massive role in your appearance just like with your teeth your skin people notice these things i've been to places and i've seen women who their hair just looks like they've just got out of bed and i'm just like what the hell is going on you know was it that hard just to brush their hair or just to tie it back people notice these things because it just makes you look messy if your hair's not done so make sure that your hair is well kept clean washed and just neat and tidy make sure your clothes are clean and you look neat and tidy it's the same thing really for all these elements in regards to having a good appearance you're not saying you have to wear designer clothes i don't wear designer clothes but I always just wear things that suit me find what suits your body and not everybody is gifted to know how to dress for their body type i know that i've seen it in the past but if you can have like a consultation with a personal stylist i'm sure it's not that expensive just to have a consultation because most of us have different body types and not everything that's in the shops can everybody wear kind of thing different things go with different body types so if you are stuck with that just try and get a consultation with a, a personal stylist but in regards to clothes when you're going out just try and make sure that you look neat and tidy make sure that your clothes are clean make sure that you don't have stains down your t-shirt make sure that your your skirt or your trousers fit well and like i said you don't have to be dressed up to the nines but if you are putting on a pair of leggings just make sure that the leggings are of good quality they're thick enough to not show your knickers through them if you have on a jacket just make sure that you it, it look, it's hanging on you well if you've put on shoes just make sure your shoes are clean you know if there's no scuffs there's no stains stuff like this because these are little things that people notice your shoes is something that most people notice i always look at somebody's shoes that's one of the things i look at when i see somebody i look at their teeth i look at their shoes <laughs> those are the first things i look at their teeth and their shoes so people notice these things so just make sure that your shoes your footwear is looking decent they're not like speaking to you, you know, the the what do you call it the front of the shoe is not opening up and talking to people as you're walking down the road <laughs> you don't need that because people will notice your shoes and feel like this person is not serious that like if i seen somebody come to meet me in a broken down pair of shoes i'll be thinking this person's not serious like your shoes is something that you need to take pride in so make sure that your shoes your clothes your t-shirt your jeans your leggings whatever it is you have on is neat and tidy and clean and ironed make sure you iron your clothes if you don't like ironing get a steamer there's no excuse to wrinkled clothes get a steamer <laughs> and next up i'm going to say is clean nails whether you're a man or a woman make sure your nails look good one thing i can't stand is dirty nails like especially when it's just like all black you know especially if you're going to a meeting or you're going to meet with people and you're going to hand over things or you're using hand gestures a lot of us use hand gestures when we're speaking so people will see your nails i haven't had my nails done since i have left ghana but they're not broken or anything but they're just grown out but as a woman i always try to make sure that my nails look clean or manicured and you don't have to wear nail extensions for your hands to look good just make sure that you know you fold them down if you wear nail varnish make sure it's not chipped if you're a man just make sure that your nails are cut neatly and just you can just fold them down in ghana men go for pedicures and manicures it's a normal thing for a man to have a pedicure and a manicure they take pride in their feet and their hands so there's nothing wrong with men going for manicures and pedicures i think it's i think it's a nice thing actually when men get their hands done and their feet done because it's your hands and it's your feet like you do everything with your hands your hands are what you do everything with so just make sure that your hands are neat and tidy and even if you even your feet if you're going to be going out in sandals make sure your toenails are clean make sure they're cut down and they're filed and looking neat and tidy because these are things that people notice especially your hands if you're going to be preparing food for somebody or anything like that you want to make sure that your hands and your nails are clean so like i said like keeping up your appearance is not just one thing it's everything combined from your hair to your teeth to your skin your clothes your feet your nails all these things are your appearance these are all things that people can see from the outside so you want to make sure that they are all in check and like i said you don't have to pay money to have these things you can do your nails yourself you can do your skin yourself you can 
do your hair yourself you can you don't have to have expensive clothes and you don't have to have expensive footwear it's just you know how you put yourself together really but one thing i must say is stay true to yourself as well because i find that especially on social media you see people trying to keep up with the joneses everyone's everyone's trying to keep up with the joneses and buying these expensive stuff buying expensive clothes and it's you know it's not needed to look good like i says i don't wear designer clothes i've never wore designer clothes but i know how to put myself together and like all of us are not gifted with that but like i says it's not about looking like a supermodel or looking like kim kardashian every single day you don't need to look like that every day but it's just all about keeping yourself looking neat and tidy but doing that while staying true to yourself so yeah i think that is all my tips but anyway that is going to be it for now but don't forget to love thyself first and foremost love thyself and also please 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 like like share and comment on this video and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend because sharing is caring Bye.